What's up guys, welcome to Plot Twist. People love to talk about the failures and cheaters that have been featured on My 600 Pound Life, but there have been plenty of people who with loads of dedication and hard work have achieved their weight loss goals. In today's video, we're going to be celebrating their success stories and we'll be talking about some of the most astonishing ones. To be honest, it's inspiring how far some of these people have come. It reminds you that anything is possible if you work hard enough. Anyways though, enough of the pep talk. Here are a few absolutely astonishing My 600 Pound Life success stories. Before we get started though, make sure to leave a comment down below. Who's been your favorite guest to be featured on My 600 Pound Life? Also, while you're leaving that comment, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you enter in to our monthly shout out giveaway. Number six. Brittany Falfer, who at her peak weighed 605 pounds, is unrecognizable post-weight loss surgery, from her 420-pound lighter frame to her genuine smile. As well as making improvements to her diet and exercise regimen in order to get the weight off and keep it off, Brittany entered therapy and has the continued support of her family and husband, Bill. And don't worry, though it's a sadly common theme on the show, thankfully Brittany reports that her husband never wanted her to stay fat and has been very supportive since day one. Everything about my life is better. Mentally, physically, emotionally, just a different person now. So I'm completely focused on making more and more progress. I don't want to slow down right now. I want to do more. And now that I have so much energy, I don't want anything holding me back. I made it. Losing the weight has brought me and Bill closer than we've ever been and I want that to grow even more. Number five. Melissa Morris, who at the start of her journey weighed in at 653 pounds, struggled for years, but due to her commitment as a mother, she ended up losing an astonishing 500 pounds. Now, I will say she did have surgery, like most people featured on the show, which did speed up her weight loss, but she still worked hard and was committed to conquer this strain on her life. I'm happy to say that her journey was a success, and today in 2019, she's looking better than ever. I could tell you this whole journey was easy, that that would be a lie, but it wouldn't be a lie to tell you it was worth it. And life is so different now. Before I lost the weight, I was miserable and barely living life. And my dream was to have kids. Now, I'm able to be active all day, and I have two wonderful kids, Alana and Eli. Number four. Up next is Chuck Turner, a hardworking man in his late 50s. Unfortunately, due to his weight issues, Chuck has become physically unable to do the work needed to run his tow truck business. With this in mind, Chuck takes the steps needed to be approved for gastric bypass surgery. And after a successful surgery, Chuck looked like an entirely new man, having lost 433 pounds. These days, his tow truck business seems to be doing great, and we couldn't be happier for him. It's easy to run to food when you're sad or hurt, and I had moments where I gave in. I still cheat a little here and there, but I think I got my eating under control. After dinner, I like to walk, get a little exercise. And I'm going over to the coffee shop and drink coffee with my buddies. Number three. Paula Jones went from 542 pounds to her 2016 revealed weight of 142 pounds, an amazing 400 pound loss since she started. Now, as most of us know, she had a rocky start at times, with infamous clips such as this one, showing her immediately getting a burrito after a pretty unspirited workout session. But she's over those days in her life and has risen above the judgment she got from it. This girl has made such a change in her life that she even held a weight loss conference to continue and encourage others to reach their goals, which is amazing. Keep it up, Paula. You're an inspiration to everyone. Life has been good this past year. I'm no longer dependent on my children to take care of me. I take care of them now. I'm happy to see that Paula made some progress. She showed me that she stick with it. More importantly, she stopped making excuses. 
This is a great feeling. To be getting skin surgery now, it's gonna make a huge difference and it'll keep me motivated. I still have a ways to go, but it's a good reason to celebrate. Number two. Next up is Laura Perez, who weighed in at over 500 pounds when she first appeared on the show. Her story was very sad, and because of this, it was extra special when she completed her goal and lost an impressive 300 pounds. In addition to losing the weight, she also ditched her enabling ex-boyfriend. We are so proud of you, Laura, and you look beautiful. I told Joey that I wanted to start beauty school to become a makeup specialist. I'm not going to keep living dependent on anyone. And I'm ready to start doing everything I want. And it's a course of about six months. We can get you in, really get you started on a new career. Thank you, Thank you so much, Laura. You have a wonderful day. It was an absolute pleasure nice meeting you. you. Thank you so much. Number one. Next up is Amber, whose weight loss has to be one of the most inspirational transformations we've ever seen on the show. Though she won't be appearing in any future check-in episodes due to some problems she has with the filming process, she is known for keeping in touch with the world through her active social media presence, saying on her Instagram page, I used to be real fat, now I'm just normal fat. But for anyone who hasn't seen the show, and even for those who have, it's hard to believe that this is the same Amber. From first appearing on the show at 660 pounds to losing over 400 pounds and becoming a full-fledged Instagram model, Amber's newfound confidence in her own skin is a far cry from her self-perception pre-weight loss. And she's certainly shocked us all. I was always heavy. I was over 300 pounds by the time I was 11. Um, but the weight gain from the waist down really sort of came to a head right as I was completing high school, moving into college. My highest weight was 668 pounds. Wow, and how much of that did you lose? Um, as of last week, I was 247 pounds on my gym scale. Wow, so, amazing. I call it that impetus for a change. I had that click moment, mm -hmm. that aha, where I realized not only am I not isolated, there are others like me, and they can get away from it, and so can I.